Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Fly Island Guy. Welcome aboard. Today we are back in the Honda Jet. Uh, we're in a uh, holding Northwest Atlanta, and uh, we're actually going to be heading down <laughs> or back to Florida, which uh, I didn't really want to do, but um, I want to take a flight over to Bermuda, and I'm going to see if I could pick up a job that has us heading out there um, from Florida. And also this this route is uh, it's a pretty high paying route. <laughs> so, you know, we're in it for the money. So um, we're going to head down there. We're going to head to Cape Canaveral. Um, and we've actually been in the area before when we went to Titusville. Um, but this, this will be actually on like the island. So uh, we're going to head there and uh, we're going to be flying uh, on Vatsim today or as much as we can uh, currently in the area that we're in there's no coverage but uh right now there is some pretty steady coverage over florida pretty much all of florida is covered right now so things are going to probably get busy uh, once we get into especially uh jacksonville airspace um and uh we'll go from jacksonville airspace to miami airspace and uh We'll see how things go. It's going to be pretty hectic, I can imagine, once we get in there. I don't like flying around here, but <laughs> you know it's, just, it's just a little busy for somebody that's new to Vatsim. In terms of weather, uh, things over here in uh, Paulding are really, really good. Uh, but if we look at Florida, I'm going to bring up uh, windy.com now. Come down into Florida, there is a pretty heavy band of precipitation. Uh, right in the area that we're heading right now and unfortunately the wind is also blowing uh, the wind is blowing like kind of like right back towards it so I could imagine like this yeah sorry there should be yeah <laughs> sorry the Oh my God! Stop you guys! But there should be uh, the the this weather's gonna probably get blown right into where we're going. So uh, we'll see how things go. As far as uh, Cape Canaveral right now, let's see the weather there. Uh, let's bring it up. Cape Canaveral. So winds are out of one four zero at four knots. Visibility is ten miles and no clouds under ten thousand. So it doesn't look bad yet but i have a feeling this weather's going to come into play uh by the time we get there so just going to keep an eye on that all right folks we're all started and ready to go though uh so let us get started i'm just going to bring up the taxi map here for porting uh let's see boom gonna come over here and kpuj And KPUJ is bring up that. And let's get the taxi map up. We're departing runway 31 today, um, which is behind us. So I'm just going to announce my intentions and then we're going to get in our way, folks. Charlie at 9 Ray 2. Uh, here in Paulding, taxiing to runway 31 via taxiway Alpha. All right. So it's not too much going on at this airport. Delta 437 on a five mile final for Uh, where is that? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so overall, it's been a pretty cool, cool day. Uh, nice and relaxing, and I'm just looking forward to the weekend. So I can we can enjoy ourselves just a little bit. Um, on the work front, things are still 
uh, slow. <laughs> I am going to be uh, just working through some personal projects still, but I kind of have a better idea of what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do moving forward. Um, so I'm a little less, uh, a little less worried about the future now, which is good. Um, so I could be a little more focused. As you can see, we're also running FS Realistic today, as per usual. We're loving this little, this little bit of software. What I want to do though is find some FS Realistic profiles. Um, I don't really feel like tweaking all this stuff myself. Um, but apparently, a lot of people have complained that the it's a good piece of software, but uh, the effects are like way too high out the box. Um, so you got to dial everything back. But I'm just going to see if I can get my hands on. A profile or a couple profiles try things out and uh, we'll see how things go all right so I'm gonna make sure to use say porting traffic this time uh, you can learn a lot just by listening to <laughs> what other people say I'm also gonna bring up uh, VAT spy as well. So I just want to know when I'm in Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville airspace. And I wonder if it's going to be the same controller on there. I don't know. Okay. So I don't see anybody coming. Porting traffic, Charlie 98982, lining up runway 31 for departure. Uh, traffic, Delta 1677, uh, turning uh, base to final, runway uh, ILS 08 left. Uh, Atlanta. All right. So here we are, folks, all lined up. Uh, everything is looking good. Let's get this guy up, ready to set our trim. Uh, lights are automatic, which is good to go. Set our nav source to FMS. Um, set our flaps. I think we are all good to go, folks. I think that's icing. All right. We're just rolling forward right now, which is all good. Not a big deal. Let's get out of here. Our rotate speed today is 150 in knots. Ah, we're coming up on rotation speed now. Let's rotate. Airborne time log. Gear up. Now we'll dial back to MCT. Let's turn to get back onto our flight plan. And then we'll enable nav mode. As I always say, this little plane gets up really high, really fast. Good flaps up as well. And, uh, just going to keep the nose relatively high so we don't build up airspeed too fast. Goodbye porting, thanks for the memories. All right, 
And we're gonna get oops, the other damper was already on. Autopilot on. Let's go flight level change. Alright, looks like it's raising the nose up so we could slow down to designated airspeed, which is about 190. We'll dial it back to 180 though. We'll climb out and eventually get it up to 200. Alright, and nav mode on. Alright. So, I think our flight time for today is about an hour and... One hour and ten minutes, I believe. And uh, I think we're going to have a headwind for pretty much most of the flight. So... Oh, looks like there's somebody below us down here. Let's see, who's that? I think that might be Delta 60 and 77. I mean, it's probably tough to see. Uh, I just saw him. I can't. I can't find him now. Oh, there he is. It might not be there because I don't really see. That could be them. That could be them. So we're actually passing over um, Hartsfield, uh, Jackson, Atlanta International. So there's a few people in the area. What I will do since we are heading over to, uh, since we're heading over into Jacksonville airspace, um, from what I've learned <laughs> from, uh, What I've learned from uh, just doing some research online for VATSIM is that when you're coming from uncontrolled airspace into controlled airspace, you should be reporting your altitude and position. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's just uh, a V pilot. It's got some issues with um, some AI deliveries. So, I'll just kind of take note of this. But uh, yeah, so make sure you, or you always report your position and your altitude. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an airport nearby. And I am going to see if there's a VOR there and I'll tune it so that I can report my position accurately. So it looks like uh, you could probably use Jacksonville. Uh, Jacksonville International. Uh, you could use that airport. So let's see. Jacksonville International is KJAX Navigraph here. And I'm just going to see if there's any like VORs there. KJAX. There should be a VOR there. Alright. Gonna pull up airport information. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm looking at. So I'm looking on here right now, trying to find something. So you could probably like look at one of their approaches or something. There's normally something on there. So we got this DINs here. So three four four. Let 
I'm assuming we could use that. Just seeing what else is around. So we got Jacksonville Executive. <clears throat> 114.5. Should we use that guy? So I think I'll use I'll try and use this guy right here. And what I'll do. I thought there'd be one at Jacksonville, I guess not. Uh, I'll come into the, the radios. Atlanta traffic information 2417, passing through 5000, run to jet to departure, last call Atlanta. And do 114 up 5 into nav 2. And once I do that, uh, OBS. We'll put, uh, let's see, bearing two on there or bearing one. I'm not too sure. There we go. So we're going to set our bearing two to nav two, which is should be 114.5. I don't know what IHZK is. That's probably another one. So basically, when we check in with Jacksonville Center, we'll say, you know, Charlie 982, uh, however, however many miles northwest of Jacksonville Center at flight level, you know, 410. So, yeah. That should do it. So we're just going to keep an eye on that for now. And, uh,. Yeah, we'll get going. We have a little while until we actually hit uh, Jacksonville airspace. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just going to sit back and chill. Might come back um, for a little bit once we get into Jacksonville airspace. And then after that, uh, hit you guys up once again when we're uh, descending into Cape Canaveral. So hoping the Jacksonville Center will stay online long enough. Um, and we'll, we'll see what happens, folks. All right. Uh, talk to you then. I'm out. All right, everyone. We are back. Uh, we're just here cruising along right now at 41,000. We are just about to cross into Jacksonville Center's airspace. Um, so I'm just sitting here practicing my, uh, my contact with Jacksonville Center. Um, so let me just write this down real quickly. Um, so Jasper Center, Charlie Nine Eight Two. It's gonna be. I'll have to switch to my barometer as well. It's a standard. Okay, so I have the day Jacksonville Center, Charlie 982, uh, 110 miles northwest of Jacksonville Executive at flight level 410. Let's see if that is correct. <laughs> um, I'm literally just about to cross into the, into the airspace now. Uh, so let me get the correct... Uh, Frequency 132.925. Okay, 132.925. Oops. 925. She's correct. I'm uh, gonna switch frequencies now and uh, just announce myself and hope I don't mess up.
Or maybe they may contact me first. We'll see what happens. And right after that, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prepare for my approach. Um, make sure I have that correct too. We're gonna get my my approach clearance. All right, crossed in. Let's let's do this. Good day, Jacksonville Center, Charlie eight nine eight two, uh, one hundred five miles northwest of Jacksonville Executive, flight level four one zero. Uh, one three five. Jeez. Let me try that again. Oh, that was wasted. <laughs> Good day, Jacksonville Center. Charlie 8982. Uh, 110 miles northwest of Jacksonville Executive at flight level 410. What was the call sign again? Charlie 8982. Charlie 982 is the full call sign? Charlie 8982. Sorry about that. Charlie, 89 or 82, Jack Center, Squawk 1061. Squawk 1061, Charlie, 89 or 82. Center, we're currently passing through 18,000, heading up to 35. Southwest 2808, Jack Center, Center, Club and maintain level 350. Club and maintain level 350 for Southwest 2808. Okay. Charlie, 8982, radar contact, so 100 miles northwest of the Alma of UR. Maintain level 410. Actually, Charlie 982, just send a maintain level 400, please. Okay. Descend and maintain 400, Charlie 982. All right. So I'm going to drop down Jacksonville Center, 40,000. Uh, calendar 2900 November. Go ahead. Uh, can we get a five mile right offset uh, for build ups ahead for 2900 November? Our tune out of November, uh, deviations right or left of course are approved uh, when able to direct uh, Larry. Okay, direct Larry for tune out of November. Thank you. This is the same control as always. <laughs> uh, hopefully he's having a better night tonight. Uh, we shall see. So I'm just ascending to forty thousand as requested, and uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look up my uh, approach. Should be doing a s instrument departure. Gonna be doing the Bith Bitho seven. Sorry, departure. The approach should be doing the Bitho seven uh, star coming in. Um, and we're probably going to get runway one three based on the winds right now, but I'm going to have to get, uh, vectoring for that because I don't have that approach in my FMS. All right. Just gonna double check the weather to see how things are looking. Uh, Delta 407, uh, climb and maintain a flood level uh, 300, please. 300, I'm in that to 280 for Delta 407. 280, Delta 407. Okay, it looks like. Mark at 2331 to center maintain flood level 300. American 240, the center maintains level 300. Level three zero zero Looks like things aren't too bad yet, so I'll hopefully get some clear weather. But, uh, we're gonna probably still get runway 13. Charlie 982 cross, um, so you're going over to. Uh, 
XMR. Uh, cross uh, LOMET, maintain 12,250 knots, and I'll have an altimeter here for you in just a minute. Okay. Uh, could I get that waypoint? Sorry. Was it LOMET, you said? Charlie at 9 2 Affirmative. LAMA, L-A-M-M-A, 12,250 knots. Okay. Cross Lama at 12,000, uh, 250 knots, Charlie 982. Charlie 982, uh, the uh, Cape Canaveral altimeter is 3005. 3005, Charlie 982. Okay. That was 6624, checking in from the west, flight level 370. Alright, so let me see. Lama. And reach 129 on Sorry, turn left heading uh, 120. Gonna West start our descent to Lama. And let's go vertical speed. American 2331, contact Miami Center 133.4. Delta 407, contact Miami Center 133.4. He'll have higher before you get traffic just above you, coming down to 30,000. I have the 33.4 for Delta 407. I'm just going to calculate now how fast I need to descend. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go. Good evening, Jacksonville Center, American 1642, Bible 360. Yeah, call me back in about two minutes. I'm doing a control briefing. Okay, we'll call you back in about two. Got to go direct to Lama. And let's see. Lama is 140 nautical miles, so I'm just going to do my precision descent calculator. Because I have a feeling I don't have to, I'm not, I don't have to descend as aggressively as I am right now. So I'm just going to pull up my descent rate. Uh, let's just do like 800 feet per minute right now. And so we're going to go from... Let's say 37,000 down to 12,000 feet. Distance is about 135. Southwest 1534, contact Miami Center 133.9er. Nautical miles, 200 knots. 133.9 is southwest 1534. About how, how fast I have to descend? 1,000 feet per minute on the nose. Right. 240, contact Miami Center 133.4. 3340 for Miami American 240. And who else was checking in? American 1642. And where are you and what's your altitude, sir? Uh, we are 4.5 nautical miles from Cape Hossa, half flight was 360. American 1642, squawk 1022. 1022. Reach 129, pilot's discretion, maintain 3000, let me know when you have the field in sight. Down to 3000, we do have the field in sight right now, reach 129. Reach 129. Start off with delay. Clear visual approach on way 1 2. All right. Clear visual approach on way 1 2. Reach 1 2 3 4. Okay, there's two guys at once. So, so the last instruction was for reach 129. Cleared visual approach on way 1 2. <laughs> clear visual on way 1 2. Reach 129. Yeah, Jacksonville Center. He has disguised no children. 2350 Atlanta Center's offline. We've my airspace. Radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. All right, so I'm descending slowly towards Lama right now. Um, our descent rate should get us to Lama at 12,000, so I'm just going to stick with this for now. Anyways, folks, uh, we've contacted Jacksonville Center. Um, we're just starting our descent, so 
Southwest 6624, Jacksonville Center, Squawk 1054. I'll contact you when we are closer to our destination, all right? I'll be back in a little bit. This is, uh, I know somebody else that I gave a code to that I don't see on the radar. What was the last aircraft that I gave a code to that checked out? And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, we're starting our descent into Cape Canaveral. Um, right now, I've just requested vectors for visual runway 13. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, we have a little bit of ice build up. I have my anti ice on, but it doesn't seem to be working for some reason, and I don't know why. So uh, hopefully, once we get through the clouds, that should clear things up. It's pretty warm down here in Florida. So. I shouldn't be an issue. We'll see how things go. Um, actually, while I'm here, so what we're doing right now is we're. Bravo, Roger. I can uh, maintain VFR for now, out or below. Uh, we are actually doing the. Let me bring it up. We are doing the Bravo 7 arrival. Um, interesting. This shot passes way point already. Oh, we're a little high. We're a little high. It says we're seven miles outside of uh, Rama, but uh, I don't know. Navigraph shows us past it, so. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. So I was reading Navigraph wrong. Yeah, so this is Lama here. So we're trying to get here for 12,000, and uh, we should get uh, more instructions from ATC. Clear to the Miami airport uh, via enter the controlled airspace, Kiwa 2 departure, Gipel transition, that's filed, Columbia SID, squawk 1006. I'm going to be taking a bit of a risk doing the <laughs> doing a visual approach. Uh, the weather is not the best here right now, but I'm hoping that once we get underneath the clouds, we should be all right. Thank you. One seven, Papa. Read back. Correct. Uh, hold for release. Report number one. This frequency for your IFR release. Change your advisor frequencies. Approved for taxi. The Charleston altimeter is three zero one six. Right All right, that looks good. Well, we're coming out the clouds. Right now, the weather at uh, Cape Canaveral is still... Record 2-4, turn left, heading 2 9 0 to center maintain 3,000. It's holding. I don't know how much longer it's going to hold for. Charlie so. 982 to center maintain uh, 3,000, fly heading 180. Center maintain, maintain 3,000, uh, fly heading 180, Charlie 982. Record 2-1, turn left, heading 270 to center maintain 3,000. All right. <laughs> Let's turn uh, 180. Let's go heading mode. Or not three, Bravo. Resume on navigation to the southeast. There you go. Resume on navigation, out of Bravo. Or not three, Bravo. You can uh, maintain appropriate, uh, can climb and maintain appropriate view for altitude at this time. Time to cruise VFR. Time to Bravo. Reach one two nine uh, runway up. Oh, you're just on the up one there. Okay, glance here in a minute. Let's come on. Great. Sorry. Send him in. Southwest six seventy two. Let me know when you have Myrtle Beach inside. Southwest six seventy two. America two one uh, flighting two six. Actually, just heading two seven zero to center maintain three thousand. America four five seven to center maintain four thousand. Four thousand four fifty seven. Jacksonville Center, November 8650, 6000, 9000, climbing to 7000. Alright. Sorry, who is that? November 8650, is at 6000, climbing to 7000. November 8650, Jacksonville Center, Roger. Advise when you have information. Bravo, you can expect the ILS 18 right. 
Roger Boulevard, expect 20 right, number 8650. And center one through nine, this is going to be a stop at taxi back. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Reach one through nine, Roger one, one two, clear to land. Landing here. One two, clear to land, reach one through nine. Landing here. Landing here. Record two one, turn left, heading two one zero, under south the runway one eight, right localizer. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get switched over soon. Let me check where I am. Yeah, I'm right on the edge. So, I think I'm going to get passed over to Miami Center. Charlie 982, turn left heading 110. Left heading 110, Charlie 982. Market 1642, Miami Operation Land Center is off line radar services terminated, frequency change approved. Fire service determining your frequency station for 1642. Have a great Friday night. Yeah. Mark at 2 1 is uh, 3 miles from Hammy. Maintain. Oh, you should have descended to 3000, sir. You read that back. You're going to be high. Uh, you can start your descent down on the localizer. Let me know if you're too high and you need to go around. American 2 1. See, Miami Center. It's a yeah, bunch of people on from Miami Center right now, so I'm going to see you. I get right, passed off to. Two one is uh, one and a half miles from Hammy. Cross Hammy at or above three thousand. Cleared ILS from way one eight right approach. Clear to ILS from way one eight right approach. Avenue across Hammy at Southwest six seventy two airport side. Southwest six seventy two. Clear visual approach on way one eight. Clear visual approach on way one eight. Southwest six seventy two. Market 1306, contact Miami Center, 133.4. 133.4, American 1306, right. American 1126, contact Miami Center, 133.4. 1134 for 1126. Yeah. Okay. Charlie 982, turn right heading 150. Turn right heading 150, Charlie 982. I'm in the heading one, well, actually, 110 will work, actually. 110, Charlie 982. Okay. Uh, maintain one one zero Charlie and under eighty two. One two nine is off on Fox Trot back to one two. All right, so one two nine runway one two taxi via Bravo Delta. One two via Bravo Delta. Reach Looks like we're gonna get lined up pretty good. We're gonna try really and do a uh, vectors to the ILS for three zero. I think after this. Hopefully we'll get out the cloud sometime soon. Looks like we're still in the cloud layer though. Just might make life a little difficult, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I lied. It's, it's runway 19. Right. So we're 93 Bravo, contact Miami Center, 133.4. Uh, 33.4 for 93 Bravo. Record 2 1, runway 1 8, right, clear to land. Record 457, turn left heading 270 to set of maintain 3000. Plus 270, 3000, American 247. Southwest 672, the winds um, 0906, runway 18, quarter land. Certainly, runway 18, southwest 672. So we should be lining up. Charlie 982, just let me know if you pick up the field. The uh, spa the shuttle landing facility is uh, at your 2 o'clock and about one zero miles, and then uh, XMR is a little bit past that. Okay. Uh, yep, I believe I see the field, Charlie 982. Charlie 982, Roger, clear visual approach at the uh, Cape Canaveral Naval Air Station. Clear visual approach, Charlie at 982. American 457 to set of maintain 2500. Alright. So. American 457 to set of maintain 2500. Let's see exactly where I am. And uh, no, Yankee 17 Papa, what did you say, sir? Ready to take off on the 109. 
Yankee 1 7 Papa, Roger, uh, release for departure, clearance void if not off by 0230 Zulu, time now 0224 and 3 quarters. Change with Roger, frequency is approved, report passing 2000. Spring is 198, Jacksonville Center Information, Bravo, thanks. Uh, descend via the rides to arrival on way 18 right. Descend via rides to arrival on way 18 right, Spring 198. Record 457, turn left, heading 150 to join the localizer. 150 to join, American 457. Record 457, it's uh, 5 miles from Tuffy, maintain 2500 till established on the localizer, Clid Eilish on way 18 right approach. 2500 till established. Clear ILS 18 right American 457. Alright, so just trying to keep an eye on where we are. The This isn't this isn't the runway here. Um he said it's a little past that. So gonna see if I see it. Charlie 982, no traffic is right between you and the uh, Cape Canaveral Naval Air Station. Radar services terminated, change to common traffic advisor frequencies for approved, report off our cancellation on the ground or Mr. Purchase frequency. Uh, thanks a lot, Jack Jacksonville Center. Um, Charlie 982. Market 2 1 cross runway 1 head left, contact ground point out on the other side. Good night. Alright, so pretty much on my own. Record 457, runway 1 8 right, clear to land, wind variable 3. 1 8 right, clear to land, American 457. Record 2188, Atlanta centers off, lawn radar services terminated, frequency change approved. Good night. And let's see, is Miami offline? I think that's what he just said. Yankee 17 Papa, I didn't climb a maintain Papa 360. Climb a 360, going to what is Papa? Yankee 17 Papa, I didn't, please. So just going to keep an eye on uh, the aircraft inside the airport right now. Um, Papa Ritter, contact two miles south at the Charleston Executive Airport. Resume on navigation. I'm going to switch to 122.8. Just going to Unicom. And I'm just keeping an eye out for the airfield because I'm not actually exactly sure where it is. Alright. Uh, okay. So it should be. Should be trying, flying straight towards it, and we are about uh, six nautical miles out. Charlie at 982 on six mile final runway 13 at uh, Cape Canaveral. All right. So I'm just going to keep an eye out. Uh, be more actually it's probably more off to my left here so so I'm gonna go I'm gonna turn more right towards uh, hood up now also kind of give me some visibility for the actual airport because um, it should be kind of off to our left Also see the shuttle landing facility. I believe this is it over here. <laughs> Not really a good representation of it, but uh, that's okay. Um, I 
I'll look and see if it's part of the unit US scenery and install it for next time. Okay, I think this is the airport right here. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, that should be it. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to hit approach mode. Just kind of... And... I actually have no idea if this is going to work. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, we'll get a visual on the airport again. The airport is over here. All right. Let me go back into nav mode as well. Screw it, that's not gonna work. All right, we're gonna turn towards the runway. Uh, let's get our gear done. I do love the, the whole rumble effect. And we're gonna go full landing configuration. And I will take over from here. The adapter could come off as well. Let's see. Do I have I don't have any good views for approach. This is Cape Canaveral straight ahead of us. Alright, we are kind of bang on now on approach. We could descend to 1800 if we want to. Well, nah, it's alright. Just kind of pitching and trimming for approach. Ah, why is it getting stuttery? <laughs> All right, folks, we are on final for Cape Canaveral. Uh, we're coming out a little faster than I should because I'm just trying to kind of cover some ground. Um, but we're dealing with a 10,000 foot runway here, so it's really no no reason to to you know worry too much about speed uh, not for this level take a quick look outside awesome Not too, too worried about wind at all. That's fine. Which feels a little breezy. Also gonna bring up the uh, airport info. Runway 13. Ooh, there's not much of this airport. I thought there'll be more than this. So we're gonna try and, and uh, land as soon as possible, kind of stop as soon as possible, and we'll backtrack. That's where the actual um, yeah, that's where the actual apron is. Kind of right at the end of the runway on the left here Wind 150 and 4 knots 
this is an amazing approach though. Uh, we're coming in pretty flat. Hopefully we have a smooth landing for our executives. Like, let's see, let's see what happens. Spot on at a glide slope. Two whites, two reds. Yeah, that's it right there on the left. A little higher now. Just dial back the power. And here we go, folks. Cut it off. And I just floated. What a buttery smooth landing. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cape Canaveral. Local time here is about 10.30 in the morning. And now we're just going to hit the brakes. Now we're just going to bust a UE here. We're about halfway down the runway. So flaps up and we'll retract the spoilers. So wonderful approach into Cape Canaveral folks. Flight director, flight director can come off. We do not need it. Thanks so much to Jacksonville Center for getting us in safe and sound. Um, he really uh he really pulled through on that the vectors for the visual approach. It was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be, especially since we had the um, kind of Kennedy Space Center there in between. Well, that's about it for today, folks. Just going to taxi back in, find somewhere to park, and uh, we're going to call it a day. For those of you who've been with me for a while, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, um, I like when people, you know, interact. Makes things a little more interesting. It makes it seem less like I'm just uh, putting up videos for myself. So, As I said, next stop from here, uh, I'm going to try getting to Bermuda. That's what I want to do. Um, if I can't get a job there, I'll just just do a regular flight there. All right, see some marshals around. Let's head to the building. Let's head to the building. Can't have executives all parked all far away and, and, and got to walk in the, in the hot Florida heat. All right, folks, here we are. Boom. Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Awesome. That is it, folks. I will catch you on the next video. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. And we'll go ahead and get those doors open. All right. That is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight. We'll catch you on the next one. 
And uh, outside of that, this is your boy Flyland Guy. Oh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you see fit. And uh, that's it. Stay safe. And most importantly, stay fly. I'm out. Peace.